Hello dear YouTubers. Tyga mistakenly called Killy Jenner name in a new album with Ig. Also Killy Jenner, Tyga and Avril Lavigne spotted in Las Vegas after their breakup. After dating for three and a half months, Avril Lavigne and Tyga split up last month, prompting the outing. Despite breaking up last month after dating for almost four months, it appears that Avril Lavigne and her ex Tyga are still amicable. The girlfriend hitmaker, 38, collaborated with Marshmello for a performance at Encore Beach Club at Wynn in Sin City on Saturday, July 1, 2023. The performer was seen chatting and hanging out with Tyga at the venue after her appearance. As they exited the venue together following the performance, many fans captured the amicable reunion on camera. Prior to their breakup in February 2023, the Canadian musician and singer Maud Sun were engaged for 10 months. One day after the singer was seen hugging rapper Tyga at Nobu in Los Angeles, news of Levine and Maud's split broke out. The rapper and the SK-8 boy singer engaged in intense PDA, while at the Mugler X Hunter Schaefer party in Paris in the weeks that followed. Outside the venue, they were seen kissing. At the time, our source said that Tyga and Avril were getting to know each other and that they were very into each other. They are still not dating exclusively and are still getting to know one another. To be on the safe side and get to know each other well before getting serious, they are moving very slowly, our source continued. But they're spending a lot of time together. The rapper from Rack City and the singer of Bite Me reportedly split up last month on June 20, 2023, after dating for three and a half months. With assistance from 2PAC, Tyga, Ig, and BLXST enjoy a West Coast weekend a new album from Tyga and Ig has been hinted at, and given how frequently they are putting out music together, it is probably just around the corner. The video for the duo's West Coast weekend with BLXST collaboration whose audio first went live in early June and was right away dubbed a summer anthem by fans, was released on Thursday, June 29. The visuals for the song now feature the three South Central MCs having a good time. Each of their verses is included in the three-and-a-half-minute cut, and BLXST also performs the hook. A modern interpretation of Two Packs All About You from 1996 is West Coast Weekend. PAC's New Jersey group Outlaws and some of California's best artists, including Snoop Dogg and Nate Dogg, were all featured in the original, as well as in the contemporary version. Tyga and Ig have been actively raising interest in their upcoming collaborative album, and in addition to the aforementioned song, they have also given fans a taste of what's to come. The pair dropped their fourth joint single in the middle of June. Platinum is a California-themed banger that was specially created by two of the best rappers in the state. On the song, the chemistry between the two MCs who both are from the Compton neighborhood is evident. The song also includes a video that honors the Golden State and all of its cultural treasures. Tyga and Ig can be seen showing up in front of famous buildings like the Golden Gate Bridge and SoFi Stadium throughout the Bay Area and Los Angeles. The final image, which is particularly noteworthy, features a mural of the late Mac Dre. The entire song is one big flex. Yep, we're going platinum without being thorough, says Ig in the chorus, 400, 500 what I get a show. The rapper from the song Toxic also mentions his record label, 400, which he named after the 400 block of his Compton neighborhood of origin, in addition to talking about his accomplishments and wealth. Tyga and Ig's brands have always placed a strong emphasis on expressing love for their home states, so it only makes sense that they would collaborate. The collaboration album was announced while they shared the stage at Rolling Loud in Inglewood, California, earlier this year. Just before they both performed Go Loco, the couple broke the news. So it's crazy because last year, or like a year or two ago, we was working on the album, but the shit was going so crazy, we only came up with one song. Tyga said with Ig nodding in agreement. But now, you feel me, we're about to release the new album. Please let us know in the comment section, and please remember to subscribe and turn on the notification.